So on this hunter, I had to change the spreaders out. See them right there. I re-riveted the rackets and put new spreaders. I had ordered them online and they were custom made for this. So hopefully they work out. And then I was putting some attention onto the motor, which is just this Nissan um, four stroke. I think it's just a four cylinder or four horsepower, I mean. Um, it's also a four stroke as well. And with these motors, it's just kind of like hit or miss. But um, this motor actually does a pretty dang good job. It's kind of weird though. It's got a built-in fuel tank up top, but then you also have the option of adding a fuel line right here. Just remove this. And then you can have a fuel tank stored in one of these compartments. So you can have the extra fuel if you are going a little bit further distance with the motor. But the startup process is pretty pretty easy. It's a pull start. Um, here's our choke and our kill switch and our vent. So we open up the vent like that. On this side, we can shut the fuel off or turn it on like that. Already have fuel in there. Here's our throttle control of course it's pretty advanced you got a turtle here and a rabbit so you would turn it to the turtle to start off with and then as you're warming up the engine you could crank it to the middle plate here so it only took me about um one pull to get it to start and it's usually you don't even really need the choke but with choke it makes it pretty easy Didn't even need the choke, but runs great. And then to kill the engine, it's kind of strange. Usually there's a shut off on the end here, but the kill switch, I just apply a little bit of pressure, kills the engine. Or you could pull this, but I prefer just to apply a little pressure and kill it that way so you don't have to remove this kill switch. That's it, it's the motor on this Hunter 19.